if Nox player stuck at 0 or 99% when starting up, here is the fix. First, disable Windows Firewall, quit the antivirus on your PC and try again. If the problem remains, you can see the two different situations, and each one could try these solutions. If Nox stucks at 0 to 99% and start up and receive no error message. Solution 1. Some AMD CPU may encounter this due to the effect of AMD V enable VT, virtualization technology, of your computer. You can enable it from BIOS settings. If you are running Windows 8 or Windows 10, there might be conflicts between VT and Microsoft Hyper-V technology. Turn off Hyper-V. To do this follow the following steps. Go to Control Panel. Then Programs and Features. Turn Windows Features on or off. Untick the box before Hyper-V. Solution 2. Another possible cause is graphics card or its driver does not support to run Nox. Check OpenGL version. You can check this by third-party tool. But it's not recommended for security reason. Most simple method to do this, go to graphics property. I have made a video about this. You can check this from the video description. Now, if your OpenGL version older than 2.0, you need to change your graphics card. If your OpenGL version upper than 2.0, but still stuck at 99%, then you need to update your graphics card driver. Solution 3. If you set your file system to FAT32 it may cause this problem. Because FAT32 has a limit to the maximum size of each single file. In this case, please change your file system to NTFS or reinstall Nox to a NTFS disk. Nox stucks at 99% and start up and then receive this error message. System has problems to start, please try to repair. Note that this only applies in case of stuck at 99% due to system reasons. Do not change anything in this tool provided unless you know what you are doing. Step 1. Run Nox App Player as administrator. To do this, right-click Nox.exe or the Nox icon on your desktop and choose Run as administrator. Step 2. Download this software called Windows Repair. Unzip it to your computer. Find the link of this software in this video description below. Step 3. Double-click to start the Windows Repair software. Go to Repairs tab Open Repairs. You could choose to back up your registry first if you worry any problem this might cause. Step 4. In the next window appeared, click Start Repairs. The default setting is to restart your computer after repair. If you don't want to, please untick the box as shown below before you start. 